Welcome, everyone, to Ricardo Silva Stadium, just outside of Miami, home to the FIU Panthers, as we anxiously await this battle on the gridiron, and this fan base is fired up. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game, as we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Old Dominion Monarchs, taking on a team from the Sun Belt, the Florida International Panthers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Fast motion from the offense. Here's the handoff. Oh, what a cut! Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance, and, and right here just shoots <laughs> up another first down gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. QBs, when you see zone coverage, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. Wants to throw on first down. Gets it out fast. And the catch was one thing. In the there you go, son. Hold on to that ball, son. Little white man with it. He's out there trying to stop these short slant routes against man coverage. Being physical is really key. You want to get your hands on the wide receiver and really try to disrupt that timing between the QB and his target. Run in the red zone. It's Lawrence. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. Hornet, Hornet. Oh. Looking for a man. It's Jenkins. Makes his connection. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. You've got to give the O-line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him. He's able to turn it up and get a first down. Wants to go up top. He makes a grab. And he was straining for the goal line, but the defense stopped him short. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, FIU! Well, you know this offense... Give it to the big fullback. 10, 15 plays, and he didn't even need that. They went nine places, scored a touchdown, everything working perfectly. They look like a well-oiled machine early in this game offense. On third down, offenses have their plays. What they like in third short, what they like third and medium, third and long. Great job by the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. Gonna run it. It's Owens. Nice move to keep running. Good execution. They move the sticks and they've got it at the 33. FIU comes out with a fresh set of downs. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. 
Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. you got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. On second down, he'll let it fly. Catch in the middle. It's Rivers. I should have kept going across. Picking up the first down. Another first down. Man, this, this defense, this defense couldn't stop a nosebleed right now. It's that bad. They're in the red zone. First and ten from the twenty. Slam. Black twenty-four. Black twenty-four. Baby. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. An attitude run as he's dragged down after a pickup of six down to the 14. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. He tired. Looking downfield, it's Jenkins. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. How about this offense? They're rolling. They got a couple first downs together. Defense. Next, what's your response? What do you got? You got to make some adjustments here. Second and long coming. Gorilla. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Gaucho, Gaucho. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. And he'll sprint in for the score. Touchdown, Florida International. One thing this team has shown early this year it does not take them long to find their footing. They get off to fast starts. That was critical for them winning their first game, and you've seen it here in this one, too. They show up ready to go. There's no sleepwalking. I think you got to give this coaching staff a ton of credit for putting their players in good positions to have success. Wants to pass. And the pass hits picked off. No room for there you go, defense. No problem after making a play like that, and they'll have it at the 25. And that's just excellent cover. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board, and you still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open. And if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it in the tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. Guys, FIU ready to go back to work on offense. They've got time, they've got the lead, and David is sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm, but also momentum is hard to create and sometimes hard to stop. You have it, so Jesse, don't do anything stupid to create some momentum for the other side. I think a lot of this comes down to your quarterback and whether or not he's making good decisions Man. in this game. If yes, be aggressive. If not, let's just take the lead into halftime and get ready for the second half. After the incompletion, it's second and ten from their own 25. Free snap motion in the backfield. Quarterback checking the play. He'll try it again on second and ten. This time it's complete. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground cover to pick up the first. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that'll be plenty for the first down. 
Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. Looking to throw, it's Jenkins. Working the middle, it's complete. Got room at the 35. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. Thanks for the push. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Going up top on first down. Just ran him over. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give him a first down. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe on time for one or two more plays. And the Panthers getting set Easy. on first and ten. Logger! Logger! Griffin! They're looking to pass from the red zone. Let's it fly! Snagged in the end zone! Touchdown, Panthers! Who cares about double coverage? Just get it in there, give your guy a chance, and it worked out that time. And the receiver would definitely agree with you. It was a little bit risky, throwing in traffic, but trust your guy. You know, he's gonna go up, make a play in the end zone. You can tell you've thrown that ball to him, and you trust him, and he goes and rewards you for it. Shout out to fake Larry Fitzgerald. <laughs> He's looking to throw it. Got it in the middle. It's Rivers. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. Well, the defense did a nice job taking everything away down the field, but once the drag route was caught, they just couldn't rally to the ball carrier in time to make a tackle, and as a result, new set of downs. They've got it down to the 32. First and 10 coming. Cricket. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Carrier. Timber. Back to throw, it's Jenkins. Back open in the middle. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. They built this offense around finding mismatches and just the get goal. the ball to the back and let him do his thing. Yeah, it, it didn't have to be long down the field. Like it threw it right Denver. near the line of scrimmage, but you know I got a guy when he gets sure, his space, it. he can make big plays happen. Nice decision by the QB. They're in the red zone and they'll pass it. Grabbed in the middle. It's Owens. Touchdown, Panther! And the route is on. And another good touchdown drive by this offense. And how about the start to the season? Blowout win in game one. Blowout win looking like in game two. This unit's clicking. They're looking like a team that will be reckoned with when the playoffs start late in the year. Ready. This offense lining up now at the 48-yard line on first and 10. The back goes in motion. Gorilla, gorilla. The receivers telling the quarterback what they see. Back to pass, it's Jenkins. Catch open down the middle. At the 35. Just stayed outside. <laughs> and how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. What did y'all get for trying to strip the ball? That's the end of the quarter, and FIU is on top. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more quarter.
quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. They're down to the 32-yard line on first and 10. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They move the tight end all over. To the ground with the back. Knocked down at the 27 after a pickup of five. I know the passing game sells, and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it would be very successful. Hmm. the shotgun the handoff to the back worked it down to the 22 yard line giving five on the carry well that didn't bust for a long one but now third down becomes very manageable it's not third in eternity now the whole playbook short passing game long passing game all of it's available quarterback changing the plays at the line moving the running back forcing the defense to adjust to throw it's Jenkins he makes the connection runs through a tackle and he'll be taken down but he does have enough for the first down I don't know if they're trying to get this guy Heisman consideration but the fact that they're still throwing the ball at this point of the game with a lead like they have is surprising I gotta be honest I should run the ball From the red zone. Damn it. And he Throw it can't too fast. quite make the connection as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Tuna, tuna. Arrow, arrow. Cut it, cut it. I should really just run it. Wide out in motion. The give and tick, 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 tick. Touchdown! I told you I should just run it. And the beatdown has ensued. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns on the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. Shout out to the tight end. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off ah, for fuck. next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a there little you go. bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. It's great for this quarterback to take shots down the field, but you just don't want it to feel like a give up or a chuck it up and hope kind of play. And Damn it. Understanding the situation. Now I'm on defense, right? If they're going to take shots down the field, maybe I'm a little bit more aggressive with my blitz, understanding that everything's going to take a little bit more time to develop if they're going to take those deep shots. Caught behind the line. It's Butler. And they pick up just a few on that completion. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. 42 Spider. They keep attacking through the air. Got his man on the right. Ah, damn it. You the star player, man. See the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. 
They've done a really good job identifying mismatches, and they find one out of the backfield there. Reese, I really don't think it's that hard. My guy is better than yours. Find the matchup across the field. Running back's got some speed. Get it in his hands quickly. Throw it to him fast. Let him make somebody miss against a slower guy that's usually a linebacker. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guy's on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. After the misconnection, it's second down. Get set, get set. From the gun, running back on the move. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Keep it on the ground. Ah. Uh. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. He wants it all. And it's caught. You just start defending, bro. They're going to play this one through to the end, but this is pretty much window dressing. Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something. Oh, Kyra, I'll stay up safe. Utah. And this offense is struggling. You're down by a thousand. But I like that they continue to fight. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. Dino. To the air, it's Jenkins. Unloads to the wideout. Complete to the left. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one. The tackle was finally made. You know, I love offensive coordinators that want to stay aggressive. And they've come up with big plays all game long. It's a big reason why they have this lead right now. And they're not backing off here in the fourth quarter. They're letting their guys go play. The entire playbook is open to them. And they're taking shots. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. Uh, over 300 should have waited. Still some time left, and he can put up even bigger numbers. And heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Second and ten, he'll throw again. Unleashes to the end that was, zone. That was stupid. That was stupid. Was going for six right there. They were really starting to put a drive together, but after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. Running back searching for a hole. And into the end zone. And they're going to put another one into the end zone as they just keep piling points on the scoreboard. Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. How we will wrap no, this man, ain't no damn celebration. I gave him mad passing yards, bro. Now they've won back to back games and probably building a little confidence from that. Yeah, and you want it to be a habit. That's what you talk about as a coach week after week. Let's build, let's create momentum and continue to build on it. Continue, and then you look up at the end of the season, you never know where you could be, what dreams you could bring to reality.
At the end of the day, I think good teams find ways to win games. And over these last two games, it hasn't always been easy. They've had to overcome some adversity. But at the end of the day, they were able to step up, make the plays necessary, and do that. Very, very impressive. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. Look at this bullshit. Five for nine on third. Mm, not bad. Did I rush with him? Yeah. Oh, that's right. I just scored a touchdown with him. That was like the first touchdown, wasn't it, of the game? <laughs> Can't get you in the end zone, buddy. Sorry. I didn't get. Oh, wait. We did get one sack. That was a defense tackle, though. Try to start playing contain. Probably should have left it as is, man. Look at that. Cornerback should not be getting this mean damn tackles, bro. I forgot we even had an interception. That was right. Right in the middle of the field. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in to this video. More content to come. Remix.